So what is good, everybody? We have got a very special treat for you guys today because we have a very special arcade stick build. Uh, not just any arcade stick build, but a build that I have been looking forward to for quite some time now. And I'm sure some of you guys have been looking forward to it as well. As mentioned yesterday, we will be hopping right in and modding in the most recent innovation in arcade sick tech, better known as the good old Buttercade and Tachinus board. This is an extra board that just fits in onto the Universal Fighting Board, and we're gonna be modding this into my good old Butter Bomber. Modding it into this, into this bad boy right here. This is a stick that I had. This is a stick that I actually uh, fully constructed on stream uh, about a year ago. In fact, uh, if, you want, if you actually want to go and check out that whole build, I have it on my YouTube channel. And we're gonna be modding. Uh, we're gonna be modding this little guy into this bad boy. So, hitbox master race. Hell yeah, brother. So the main thing that that we need to do is that we need to open up uh, the interior of this and and collectively vomit at this very horrendous cable management at this <laughs> incredibly horrendous cable management it is a crime against all man uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get I'm gonna make sure this gets out of, out of the way as soon as possible we're gonna speed run through this mod because this just looks so so bad so so bad my my plan is uh you the the uk arcades the crew made an excellent wiring guide that allows you to make some of the most some of those more aesthetic arcade stick interiors that you may have seen on like r slash fight sticks or on twitter or wherever and i want to attempt that i don't i don't have the budget for it yet but i am currently budgeting for it now so hopefully within a couple months we can make this look we can make this look a little less chaotic plexiglass to see the carnage yep just pure just pure chaos all right so let's see so these use uh hex screws i'm just gonna set my tools over here um so the main thing about about this pcb is that it requires a, a five volt connection. So the other reason why I have uh, this particular build as today's chosen build is because this is the build that I modded in uh, but Bitband Gaming's Super Fresh SOCD cleaner, which also requires a five volt connector. So for the so for the for the purposes of just having a suitable test build for this, I'm going to be adding to the chaos. <laughs> And uh, just swap, just swap the wires around for for that, and then this. When when this build eventually gets complete, I will probably get additional five volt connectors and make this thing look a lot more pretty. But uh, for the time being, we're just gonna make do with what we have. We're gonna make do with what we have. So let's see. See if we can find the correct, the correct bits for this. This one appears to fit just fine. God, I forgot how I forgot how long these screws were. Like, bruh, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the cam the webcam's probably not gonna focus focus on it too well, but bruh, this is a big old screw. 
This is like, this is a big old screw. Holy hell. All right, I'll just, I'll set those down in the tray. how uh this particular enclosure has kind of become my new hey if i need to test out a new product i just have to just use th this bad boy this is a good old the good old butter bomber Wait, now now what i need to do is i need to like i need to get like a like top panel that's like an actual stick so that way i could use it to test out the odin and the loki <laughs> Uh, that'd be funny. I'm probably not gonna do that, but it, it would be hilarious. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, not quite there yet. Again, these these screws just. Super long, super long. All right, and that takes care of this bottom panel. And then I will just carefully pick up this bottom plexiglass, which definitely needs to be cleaned. But I can do that at a later date. All right, just gonna set this down next to me. And now for the now for the ungodly mess. I'm gonna set my tea over to the side, away from everything. <laughs> This is a crowded desk space, so I want to make sure I can have as much free reign to work with as I possibly can. Yeah, this this uh, this needs clean. Ooh. Um, looking a little, looking a bit rough on. sure what's going on there. Let's go ahead and close a couple of we'll close a couple of opera tabs real quick, see if that fixes anything. Pro probably something like downstairs just like hogging up a bunch of bandwidth right now. This is a so this is an unnecessarily long cable. Like, the the. So what I'm probably gonna do is when when the time eventually comes to to simplify this, I have a smaller uh, U, USB A to B cable. I can swap out for this and then I can do all the uh, wiring stuff therein that I have to do to get the 5 volt connection working 
because this is a this is a spare USB NB cable that I had just so that way I could quickly just strip away the insulation and get these little connectors on some of the power wires. So so it's this that is essentially uh, powering our five volt connector here. So so what we're gonna so what we're gonna want to do is that we are going to want to take this connector, which is, again, tangled amidst the chaos. And then from there, connect it to the five volts on, on, this, on this little guy. On this little guy. Again, I apologize if, if any of you are experiencing uh, any buffering. I also, do, I, I also dual record uh, these on my end, so the version of this build that you will be seeing on the YouTube channel will not be the stream, will not be the stream version, but it will be uh, the encoded version that I am recording. And those usually don't have the, the, the similar like quality issues. Gonna want so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need to we're gonna need to do a couple of things. I'm gonna remove this bottom acrylic panel here just because a lot of the work we're gonna have to do is gonna be on this side of the stick. So I just want to make sure that we can have as much room to work with as possible. I'm just gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna remove this USB A to B cable from the removable Nutrick port as well as from the PCB because it is on this thing, this very tangled up thing. Uh, <laughs> it's on this very tangled up cable that we get our power supply for the additional boards. So traditionally, when, when you're adding an add-on to the main PCB of your arcade stick, that additional board needs some amount of power supply. And usually the way how the base PCB gets it is through the main USB cable that gets plugged into your PC or your console. So what, so what I do for the uh, Superfresh SOCD cleaner, as well as what I will be doing for the antagonist, is that I cut through very carefully uh, I cut through the insulation on this USB cable and clamped onto the red and black wires on this. And in the process, once once the stick gets plugged in, it's powering my main PCB as well as this SOD, S, this SOCD cleaner. And in the case of this build, it'll also be powering our antagonist. So, there's a reason why that is there. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. I'm gonna unplug uh, the direction cable from the cleaner to the PCB. There we go, like so. Uh, what is the antagonist? So the Buttercade antagonist is a very interesting little little add-on produced by uh our favorite group of arcade stick makers over at buttercade this video is not this stream is slash video is not sponsored uh by them but it does something a little bit interesting in that it basically is an alternative to an socd cleaner or as i like to or as i phrased it in my uh video about it 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 is an auto socd button and you, you will definitely get to see a lot more about that uh, as we get to the plate test portion of our stream, which hopefully I'll be able to get to. I do have something else to take care of today, so I'm gonna try and make sure I get through this as fast as possible. But yeah, I'll do a brief demo with Guile and you, you'll be able to see what I mean. Let's see, so we need to get uh, this power cable out next, which is secured in here with these two flathead screws. Gonna, uh, I'm just gonna loosen this up real quick. Let's see, 
and whoop, this is that. Our, our power cables are free. Um, okay, so this little, this little power brick is still in here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I now officially, I now officially have my first video for for February. Th this build, this build stream will probably go up, um, will probably go up sometime on sometime next week. I don't know when I'll get around to editing it. I'm doing a lot of editing stuff for other people. Um, that's that's the thing I'm currently opening myself up for right now. I'm doing a lot of like freelance editing work for, uh, not just like various like members of the fighting game community like their own personal brands and stuff but i'm also doing like some esports tournament stuff so i'm like editing together tournament mods and stuff like that it's kind of nice i really enjoy it is this the hitbox about to do tool assist in level switch gameplay maybe i don't know <laughs> like i like i'm trying to think of i'm trying to think of what the ultimate a uh, cheat box would be. I feel like it would gotta be something like a mat, like a Paradise Arcade Shop Magenta mixed with uh, the Antagonist board with the cross up. Like, uh, like if I were to make the ultimate, if I were to make the ultimate cheat stick, it would have to be hella busted. It had to be Omega busted. Uh, but I, but I don't know. Uh, I, I'd have to think about that. I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to think about that. All right, I think I'm gonna leave these direction wires in the, um, in the Bitbang, in the Bitbang gaming PC for just a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in a couple of these things. All right, so this is the direction cable for the. PCB. I remember an NRS. I, I remember an NRS player had an idea to make what he called a hit pad, which was a hit box on a pad. Never ended up making it though. Mm. Uh, you might want to check this out, Smile. I'm not sure if you've seen this, but there's a really nice um, kind of like pad arcade stick hybrid that was shown off at CEO. And given the chance, I want to check this out at some point this year. This is one of the things I mentioned in my future 2022 video. And it's it's this thing. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a, it's this it's this bad boy. I, as far as like I, I said this before, but as far as like pad uh, arcade stick hybrids goes, this is the best. This is absolutely the best. There's nothing else that tops this. Yeah, a hitbox pad. Hmm. Like, like which side would be like the hitbox? Which side would be the pad though? Cause like the main like thing that differentiates like an arcade stick from a hitbox is really just like the directions on this side. So it's like, would you have like a traditional pad on the right? And then the hitbox buttons on the left? Hitbox on the left, pad on the right? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's like the only thing that would make sense for me if you were to call it like a hit pad. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, just want to take a look at all of the all the wiring stuff on the bottom. All right, let me just make sure I can let me make sure I can pull up the uh, the wiring um, the wiring guide for the antagonist because I need to make sure that I have that. Otherwise, we are doing a lot of testing today. <laughs> we are doing a ton of testing today if I can't find this. Um, NRS games lend themselves better to hitbox probably than any other games since they don't use diagonal inputs. Yeah, you can make that argument for the mix box as well.
All right. Let's see. You know, I wonder if I actually put, I wonder if I actually like looked at the wiring guide in the initial video when I did on it. Because if I did, then I am my own lifesaver. reviewed this before we even now like had like a proper proper wiring guide for this also I also I'm looking over at my phone we just got a new subscriber on the YouTube channel let's go much appreciated much appreciated if you if you are in the, the twitch chat right now and, and you just uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel very much appreciated yeah I don't think I actually have I actually have a an image of the wiring guide anymore because it was taken down from the site. Bring it, John. All right. experimental with this screw it <laughs> screw it we are getting experimental as as i also as i also dm john for for the wiring guide because i most certainly need it <laughs> DM'd our boy. Alright, so let so in the meantime, I think I can figure this out. Alright, so this uses a similar uh, powering system as the SOCD cleaner that we have. So I'm gonna need to get I need to get like a smaller yeah, I'm gonna need a smaller screw. I need a smaller flathead for this. Much smaller flathead for this. Let's see if that's gonna be this one or it's gonna be this one. This one is hella tiny. Yeah, this one's probably gonna be the one we're looking for. like I don't think it really matters like how specific we get with the uh with the wires or like which wire goes into like which which terminal
Alright, I think that affixes that one in place just fine. Let's get the other one. This one's good. Okay. So that should, emphasis on should, <laughs> that should power the, uh, the PCB just fine as it is. Now, uh, here, here's where the real fun begins. The real fun begins with the directions. <laughs> The real fun begins with the directions. Let me just check this real quick to make sure that this powers up. I'm just gonna plug, I'm just gonna plug this directly into my PC just to make sure that this all powers up just fine. All right, it's been recognized and we do have power. We do have power. We got a little LED right here. All righty then. So now the fun part. <laughs> now the fun part. Because the thing is, is that we have a cup. We have a couple of things. We have to map the appropriate directions for for everything. And then we also have to, to wire up a button. We have to wire up an individual button. So I have a bunch of spare wires. That I can use for just such a purpose. have to use all of the quick uh, disconnects and such we have a we have a slew of wires here at our disposal that we can use for this um, unfortunately we only have to do this for we only have to really mess around with like one button as far as like Getting all that figured out. right yellow is left let me write these down because I'm gonna like I'm gonna need to keep track of these okay so the way I have everything wired up right now as far as left right up and down for the base directions I have green as my green as my right not as my left let's see green is my right yellow is my left Down appears to be red and up is orange. So that will be that'll be my wiring guide. I think the reason why I don't have like anything um, plugged into like the grounds for the super fresh is because uh, a lot of the power, a lot of the power on uh, these, on this current uh, wiring setup is uh, daisy chain. 
so I don't really have to really worry about wiring up each individual ground. At least for this one. Uh, why do a lot of people not consider Smash a fighting game? Um, I think mostly it has to do with just the fact that like the communities are so distinct from each other. Like, like culturally, we use a lot of different uh, terminology and and our history isn't quite as rooted in the same way as the as the smash scene is like the smash like the smash scene originated from like their like the environment around like their consoles around the n64 and around the gamecube especially whereas the fgc has its roots very heavily tied in the arcade stick scene or not the, the not the arcade stick scene the fgc has its roots very tied in like the arcade scene It's because Smash players can't input a DP. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I consider that, I consider like the Smash scene to be a part of the FGC, just like we're just very culturally distinct in that sort of way. I like, I would, I also make the argument that like, depending on like, really depending on how your game kind of controls there, there, you're like in your own kind of subdivision in the FGC. Like two, there's 2D fighting game players, there's anime, there's anime players, there's 3D fighter players, and there's platform fighters. And I, I kind of consider, like that, the, like the divisions in like the style of game kind of have kind of play a factor into it too. It's like America and Canada. Yeah, they don't want to be associated with us. I wouldn't want to be associated with us either. Okay, so that's all the wires from this. Uh, let me let's let's pray to the. Okay, thank God. Blessed. <laughs> all right, so so John at Buttercade got back to me with the with the proper wiring layout for for the antagonist. So the day the day is saved, thanks to our boy. All right. So this is what the wiring guide looks like. We 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 actually wired up the power uh, part of it pretty well. We we like my like my, my intuition on it was the 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 attacks and like the the outputs that are going to the buttons. It would make sense to keep all of those on the left side. Um, the power and the connection to PCB. It makes sense to keep those on the right side. So. Thankfully, thankfully we did that right. So let's see. So uh, let's pull this back up real quick. So the way how it's all wired out, I think actually with the way how I have, with the way how all these uh, cables are set up, uh, I can basically plug it in according to the, according to how it's uh, labeled here, just like yellow to left, green to right, orange to up, red to down. That's basically exactly how I have it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's start uh, from, let's start from down up. Let's see if we can pull up all of these wires. I'm gonna have the time of my life doing the, the a, a cleanup wiring thing for this like oh my god and, be and best believe when i do like the actual like clean like wiring job for the for this build i'm going to stream it and i'm going to fail spectacularly the way the way how i see like the clean wiring um the way the way how i see clean wiring is kind of similar to how i see um Putting in a water cooler in a PC. That's that's the way how I see it. So it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun ride. And really, like I I contemplated buying the parts for that uh, for for doing that wiring project today. I contemplated it, 
but I still... <sighs> A lot of the controllers I really want to review this year are still on pre-order. So until I can solidly confirm whether or not I'm going to be able to get in on some of those pre-orders, I'm not going to buy any of the wiring stuff yet. What's, re what's, re what's really killing me is the, is the frame one. It's that That's what's really killing me. Cause it's like, I will, I will, I'm willing to review the Smashbox in place of the frame one if, if it ever comes to it. But man, the Smashbox is, just more expensive it's just more expensive than the than the frame one so i would i would rather i would rather spend money on on the frame one than on the smash box I was going to do said I was going to do the the inverse uh I'm lying I will do the I'll do the top I will go from top to bottom from top to bottom let me see if I can do like a quick zoom in on the uh on this camera just so that way you guys can see a little bit more of it. I don't know how much it'll actually even let me zoom. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that That is as much zoom as you guys are getting. <laughs> uh, okay, well. <laughs> I, I, I tried. I tried. <laughs> Accidentally wired this thing around my um, my USB to be a cable. That's fine. I can always unplug it. Here's the last wire. That's all the base directions wired up. Now, the question is, which button will be our our cheap button? <laughs> our, our, our legendary cheap button. Because ideally, like the ideal antagonist build is closely akin to the cross-ups layout and i can i can show you what i mean the the ideal 
antagonist build has an extra button down here below the the eight. So it's kind of it's kind of like where like the hitbox jump button would be anyway. But we don't quite we don't quite have that option here. So what we're gonna need what we're gonna need to do. is to compensate for that. So I think what so I think what I will do is for the purposes of this build I'm going to I'm going to make a shift. I'm going to shift my primary six attack buttons and I'm going to shift them over to the to the right it will be to the left up from this perspective but to the right on the other side so so in essence this will this the new attacks will will basically go from from the second punch button over uh light medium heavy and then from the from the bottom row will be light medium heavy and then this this button above the original light kick will become our our antagonist button. I think I think we'll try that out for a bit. At least at least until we can get like a, a top panel that we can make that we can make work for us. Make it, we'll make it work for us. So let's go ahead and make a couple of adjustments. This one row at a time. And hopefully it doesn't stretch the hopefully it doesn't stretch things too much. DM John in a bit and just kind of toss around ideas for what we can do for like an extra an extra button like like maybe I could just have like another button like right next to the uh, right next to the jump button like I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll toss we'll toss around ideas we'll toss around ideas I'm like leaning forward a lot, a lot for this. So for, for the time being, I'll just shift over. And I'll move that down here. Okay. And then this top button is just going to be empty for the time being and now we get to grab some old wires so th th this grand mess of wires is from my uh mad cats te build so that's the reason why they're all like still like zip tied and everything this is just like the, the gunk the, the guts of uh, of that old build. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and snip this zip tie. There we go. 
See, what did I tell you? Wire cutters, really useful, really useful tools. Take this. This brown cable is about the same length. Yeah, we'll use that one. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something real quick. This was like an extra little reminder for for future me. And I'm gonna leave myself a stream marker so that way I know to get this in post. Uh, a couple things that I would do want to add to to the stream in the future. Exclamation point tools. I think there's an exclamation point gear. There might still be an exclamation point gear that links to like all the gear that I use for uh, modding and stuff. Or it's, or it's like exclamation point mods. Someone, someone in the chat check for me. But I want to have a, a command that links to the tools that I use. I want I want commands that link to any build VODs that I've done and have published on YouTube. And I should probably also have a, a new video command as well. Just to, to, to bring some extra traffic to the YouTube channel. Just spitballing some ideas. Give myself a stream marker for that, and then I will get to that when I get to that. Okay, so. So so this thing. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to strip some wires. Look at the uh, these things are okay. So this thing is like very firmly on the on the quick disconnect. So I'm gonna have to actually like cut and strip. And even I ever feel like reusing them, which I might, I don't know. I'm gonna be buying a whole bunch of them in the future anyway. Right. And what we want here is that we want to, we want enough of the of the wire of this showing so we can just plug it into uh this this power terminal on the top left of the antagonist pcb so that's what we want i am operating on the clock a little bit job but it should work so let's see so this will be our signal wire this little brown wire right here to see it. Yeah, love to see it. Alright, so 
that's gonna be the signal wire and now we just need to get the power wire done and then A little bit of the wires exposed here. Let's go off more of the insulation, that will be good. Also trying to not accidentally bend the wires too much. Individually, these wires are like kind of frail. Kind of, kind of Probably see a little bit, bit better on the, the main camera. Like that's that's about as much space as we as we really need to kind of get things going. Just gonna snip off this excess insulation. And then that should do it. That should do it. You know, one of the tools that I'm thinking about getting for that, um, for this, for the clean wiring build is like a wire stripper. So it, so it, it does multiple things. So it, it strips the wires, it crimps them, and it cuts them. Which the cutting isn't really like all that necessary because I have other tools for that. Um, but the other features are very much to my liking, especially for projects like this. So, I don't know, either the next the next Twitch payout or the next uh, next brand deal thing from Mazer is probably gonna, probably gonna cover that. Um, but that should do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the signal Power in and that should do it that should do it all right so now we just gotta plug this thing back in amidst all of the amidst all of the chaos and all the wires Behold, we have modded in our antagonist. We just gotta close up the enclosure. And I might I might barely get 
a, a quick test run in yet barely just barely Uh, just letting the homies know that I might be a couple minutes off. Just letting them know I'm, I might be a bit late if I'm not there, like, right at 9. I think I'll be doing too much in that for this event, and I probably won't even start off with my character for the main event. So, it's no, no biggie. It's no biggie. Ugh. I, I, I scheduled the stream, and I'm like, crap, I forgot about that. <laughs> alright, um, alright, so let's see, so... The real challenge, as always, is fitting everything in here. And since we still have this SOCD cleaner in here, we uh, we, we got some stuff to work around. So, um, we gotta. Uh, well, first of all, I gotta put I gotta put this thing back in there. So that's that's first on the agenda. All right, and then next is we gotta. Make sure all of these wires are in and fitting properly, because the last time, because the last time I built, I built this, I did not check this, and some of these wires came loose. So, let's make sure it's all set and ready to go. I so need to. I so need to. I need to mod like a smaller cable into a smaller USB to B cable into this. This is nuts. This is actually nuts. I think I do. I do know what I want to do aesthetically with this stick. So it's just a matter of getting the right parts. No, I didn't even know that could even come off. No. Okay. Pressure. I can feel the pressure. I'm gonna 
try to do, I'm gonna try to do my best. All right. Uh, let's start off with this top right one because this is gonna cause me a lot of anguish if I don't do this one. Get like the base screws in. If we can get the base screws in, then we're fine. So I lightly screw these ones in before closing this thing all the way. So all these screws are like slightly in. I think, it, okay, I think we can make this work. We can make this work. Let's grab our, our hex bit for this. All right, let's screw in that in just a little bit more. Checking to make sure we can get this thing in. All right, uh, bottom panel is secure as it is, so let's screw away. Let's screw away. real quick on the other sides to make sure this is good yep all right real quick i'm just gonna just gonna boot up sf5 as i do this Which, oh god, I forgot I logged out. Ugh. I, I, I got logged out of Steam because I had to I had to reset my PC for the stream. Alright. It's no problem, it's no problem. Alright. Spaghetti build has one more new addition, a proud addition of the Buttercade antagonist. Doesn't look too different on the outside, but on the inside, there is power. Pick up some uh, some of Giles, some of Giles. I am traditionally bad at charge characters. I don't don't ask me why. I am just bad. And in fact, that's actually part of the lore behind why this thing was built. So Buttercade is uh, he doesn't like playing charge characters. So when he was doing it, he wanted to do Leo things though. So he decided to make this. <laughs> all right, so all right, so let's let's break it down real real quick. Uh, let me see if I can press the pause button. All right, key display, uh, display commands. Let's put it on repeat for the time being. All right, so keep an eye on the on the input display. You feel me? So this is forward. This is back. You know, usual usual hitbox affair. And if you press them both at the same time, you get neutral. That's, that's just the way how SOCD works. I made an entire video about that. Now, what does this button do? The uh, the antagonist button. Well, hold back forward normally, just get neutral. The antagonist button, forward. We're still holding back. We are still holding back. If, if, you, if, I, let, if I let the antagonist button go, We're get, we get back again. So what does this allow me to do? 
I hold back. Sonic boom. Charge again. Sonic boom. And if I do it and just keep holding down the antagonist button, I just move forward after the boom. But wait, but wait, there's more. So, so you know how when you do down and up, you just, you just get up. And, and that's basically the crux behind how you get the SOCD flash kick. A bit less of the benefit. But you can do the same thing. Just still holding down. The way how I have the map, it's just these three buttons right here. You can hear it. Like. You can hear it. Clear as day, repeat after repeat after repeat, flash kicks. And admittedly, you can do the same thing with just the traditional uh, SOCD method. But where this really comes, where this really comes in handy, is especially with the the uh, Sonic booms. Still, still able to hold back, able to, able to immediately, able to immediately block. Just able to instantly throw booms, and if I want to, just keep holding down, the keep holding down all the buttons, and I just get to move forward afterwards. Works like a charm. Works like a god dang dream. So let, let's mess around with some. Let's mess around with some of the uh, some of the trials real quick. Oh god, this is gonna this is gonna feel weird. Like all, all every bit of muscle memory that I have is just gonna be like all over the place. <laughs> And then I guess what it could be is it could be that now, or it could be this. It could it could be these two buttons. That's fine too. Is that the reason why the gaffer box is banned? Yes, that's exactly the reason why the gaffer bo box was banned. So that that's that's the big thing about the about uh, the way how this peripheral is designed. It provides an alternative for is it provides an alternative SOCD method. However, it is not an SOCD method that would ever be legal in tournament. It's just one of those like what what ifs what if, what if we could do this. So the so the big reason why the big reason why I am a fan of of this thing is purely just because it's different. Let's see. Um The the thing is the thing is, is that uh, with this current iteration of the antagonist board, if I hold down back, uh, I can't. I if I hold down back and I press the antagonist button, it'll go for the it. It overrides to the to the up, so I can't like crouch. I can't like crouch block, and press the antagonist button and the attack punch at the same time. However, uh, rumor has it that there is a version two of the of the PCB that has selectable profiles and among some of those profiles 
would allow you to override some of these options. What if, what if the big mean TOs let us have fun with charge characters? I mean, hey. I mean, hey. I think it would be interesting. Like, I probably won't ever use this in tournament because most more, mo most likely the reason being I don't play charge characters. <laughs> um, but but I think it would be interesting for like some of the characters I do play that do have like charge special moves like Vanessa and King of Fighters and Mina has a charge special and five special but it's not really all that usable. I'd, I'd be interested in like uh, trying this out like online, seeing if like that's like something that would make me like a little bit more okay with with charge characters for a little bit. I don't know. I don't I don't. I don't see myself using this in tournament, but I could see myself using this to just have like fun online with with a fighting game. Let's see. So what really, what really gets me is just the fact that everything is like all shifted over. to do yeah yeah so all right so this, so this combo would be a little bit difficult to execute with the with this current revision of the antagonist just due to uh you having to crouch block before before going into the sonic boom let's see if we can find a See if we can find a trial that uh, I can help to showcase the abilities of this a little bit better. If you found there's a tournament that was almost more like a mod showcase where there's no limit on any controller mods, I think that would be I think that would be incredible. I think that would be great. I call it like Modder's Paradise or something like that. That'd be sick. Let's see what we got. Uh, high kick, somersaults, spinning back knuckle, Enix Sonic Boom, crouching the Sonic Boom, crouching the Sonic Boom, crouching the Sonic Boom. So the way how I see it, with with this version of the antagonist. I could see it being really good. It it would be a really good like offense starter, if you get what I'm if you get what I mean. Cuz like you're holding you're holding back if usually most people most characters like back to forward charge special moves or like a fireball or some sort of advancing move. So, if you're going to like be a guile player and like and like set up with um with like Hold back, V skill, Sonic Boom. Uh, give me a sec. Yeah. And then if you were to like hold, if you were like to hold the antagonist button after that, and you get the follow, you get the follow up just by walking forward behind it. That be that be pretty that be pretty powerful. Yeah, so something like that. Hold back. Yeah, especially with like the light V skill Sonic Boom. See, and then obviously I would, I would have to let go of like, let go down for a bit. So let's see, so hold back, V skill Sonic Boom, hold forward. Yeah, I, I definitely think with with the override for with like certain overrides and, and profile changes, like this could be pretty good. I'm looking forward to seeing I'm looking forward to seeing what future revisions of this end up end up looking like, because uh, Buttercade is currently working on different revisions of the antagonist right now. So hopefully, whenever the, those come out, I can get a chance to to try those out as well, and uh, maybe have a little bit more fun uh, with with good old Guile.
I shall I should also mention that it does this uh, for like all different variations. So if you're doing forward and if you if you if you're walking forward and you press the antagonist button, you, you it also just like instantly switches you over to back. So this also makes it really good for like uh, like walking forward and blocking. Like, so you can imagine this like SOCD moving forward and then. The antagonist walk back the block. SOCD dash, antagonist block. SOCD dash, antagonist block. Like I, you know what? Another scenario that would make me like really interested in uh, trying this out uh, would maybe be messing around with like Nago Ryuki because uh, Nago and Guilty Gear Strive has like a command dash that if you that if you instantly hold the opposite direction that you're going allows you to just like shortstop it instantly. I would love this. I would love to mess around with with that alone. I think that would be pretty cool. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, so. I think it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. I, I'm gonna have to like, first of all, I'm gonna really have to get used to like, uh, messing around with things with just like the buttons uh, shifted over on this current build. But, um. Man, I want to do more with this. I want to do so much more with this. I think, I think definitely, um, what would really, what would really sell, um, for like an antagonist version of a, like an all button build, I'd say you could either go the cross up route and add another button up here, or you could add a button down here. I think that I think if you're going to try and do an all button uh, antagonist build, your top panel should either have a button up towards the top, kind of cross up style, or it should have a button down here next to the next to the jump button. I think that would be pretty sick. <laughs> 